Hi, I'm Nachielli and today's tutorial is this capybara in a migurumi. Uh, we make it as a key change. So it's a tinier pattern. I have already a bigger pattern. Uh, so if you make my bigger pattern in the same yarn that I use in this one and same hook size, it turns out to be that big. So I made this... Uh, tiny pattern so you can make a tiny uh, keychain you can also make this tiny if you change uh, hook size and yarn size so this I use a three millimeters hook and this I use a two millimeter hook so you can use any kind of yarn that uh, when you look at it uh, they say uh, they suggest the three millimeters hook and uh, if you're gonna use a two one, you gotta use a yarn that is also compatible with uh, two millimeter uh, hook size. So without further ado, uh, let's get started. So in this video, I'm gonna make it with this color because uh, I ran out of that one. So we're gonna start by doing a magic ring. Oh, I leave down on the description box the rhythm, the rhythm pattern, so you can follow me along. So we're gonna start round number one with six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six single crochets. Now we're gonna pull it up. Really tight. And now for round, uh, so we finish this round with six stitches. Now for round number two, we're gonna make one single crochet and one increase. So one single crochet here, here. And I'm gonna mark this as the first stitch of my round. I mark with the yarn itself. I think it's easier this way. So one single crochet, one increase in the next. So we're gonna repeat this three times. One single crochet, one increase in the next a second time, and one single crochet, and one increase in the next a third time. So we have now for round number two, nine stitches. For round number three, we're just gonna make nine single crochets. So one single crochet after the other without making any increases or decreases. Just nine single crochets. So if you're new to my channel, I make several keychain. So you can go in playlists and, and make like any keychain you want to make. I like to do tiny amigurumis uh, and I would like to know which one you like best. Can you leave down in the comments uh, if you prefer like big amigurumis or tiny ones so I can make more of it because <laughs> so far I've been doing just tiny ones but I don't know if that's what you guys prefer. So we finish round number three with nine stitches because we just made nine single crochets. Now for round number four, we're gonna make um, three single crochets. So I made one here and put down my marker. So one, two, three single crochets. Now we're gonna increase three times. So one and two single crochet together once, one and two single crochets together twice, and one and two single crochets together a third time. So now we're gonna finish by doing three single crochets. One, two, three. So we got here in our marker uh, to the end of our round with 12 stitches. 
Now for rounds five and six, we're just gonna make single crochets after single crochet. So two rounds with 12 stitches. So I'm gonna make mine and I'm gonna pause the video and make mine. You can do the same, you pause the video and make two rounds with 12 stitches, 12 single crochets. So now, now that we've finished rounds five and six with 12 single crochets, we're gonna start round, round number seven by increasing two times. One and two increases. Now we're gonna do one single crochet and one decrease. two single crochets one decrease two single crochets and one increase. So we have by the end of this round, uh, 12 stitches still, cause we decreases some, but increase some also. So now for round number eight, we're gonna increase twice. So one and two single crochets together once let me put on my marker and one and two single crochets together twice three single crochets one two three Two decreases, one, and two. Two single crochets, one, and two. And I will finish with two increases. One and two together, and one and two together. Now we finish this round, which was round number eight with 15 stitches. For round number nine, we're gonna start by doing three increases. So one and two single crochets together on the same stitch and I'm gonna mark the beginning of my round so that was one increase two increases and three so increase three times now we do two single crochets one and two now we decrease two times one and two decreases now we do four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. And now we increase in the last two stitches. So one increase and one, and two together, two increases. So we finish round number nine with 18 stitches. 
for round number 10, we're just gonna make 18 stitches. So 18 single crochet. So we're gonna make single crochet after single crochet up to the end of our round. So I'm gonna finish here uh, round number 10 with uh, 18 single crochets. And I get back to you to show you how to place the eyes and the nose. So I finished round number 10, and now we're gonna place uh, the eyes and the nose. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna count, I'm gonna place uh, one here, but I'm just gonna show you how to, because this one, it's a little bit tinier than this. This is a thinner yarn than this one, so the eyes is gonna be too big, probably. But what you do is you count from uh, this first round. So one, two, three, four. Between rounds four and five, it's where you're gonna place the eyes. So between these two rounds, four and five. So what we're gonna do is uh, there's one, and two increases between rounds four and five down there are two increases you see two crochets together in two so here we're gonna place one eye i'm gonna place it but then i'm gonna take it out because i'm gonna use one that is not like this but there you go, so you place one here. Uh, I'm gonna show it in this one. So one, two, three, and four. So here we have one increase, and here we have another. So we place one here and one here. So, so I place this one, oh, not here. It's on the one bit. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. It's right there. Now I'm gonna count the ones below. So this is one increase, this is another one. So here on the other side, we're gonna place the other one. Let me see if you see. So this is one increase, another one. So here on top is the other one. So this one's our seven millimeters eye. This one, it's uh, five millimeters. So I'm not gonna put this one. This is a glue one, and this is a safety one. So I'm not going to place it just now because uh, this one is too big. If you do a bigger one, you can use it, like this one. But this one is too big, so I advise to use a 5 millimeter eye. I just used this one to show you where to place it because I'm going to glue it up. So I'm going to glue the, the other ones I have and then I come to show you how to do the nose. So I just glue here the tinier ones. So you see how it is? It's like that. It's like a, a semi semicircle. It doesn't have like the safety pin. And it's smaller. And for this one, uh, she's like too, too tiny. So I this is painted. So it's just a little bit of paint that I put it on. So if you don't have like a, a this plastic kind, you can also paint. Now what we're gonna do is the nose. So we're just gonna take a little bit of uh, black yarn. Now we're gonna come between rounds one and two. So let me show you on this one. Between rounds one and two, we're gonna just pass through uh, 
the yarn here so you come here between those two rounds and then you come and come and do this now you count this was one you skip one stitch and then go in the next one so there you there can you see it this is where we went through with the first then we skip one hole and then in the next one now we pull it Oh, it had to be bigger. <laughs> yeah, it had to be bigger, so it wasn't enough for me to pull. And it got out. So you gotta pull, and you have to still have it around here. I take this and pull through. So there you go. Now, what are you gonna do is you're gonna cut it here. Just this tip, and now with this, you take the loop with the ones there, cut it, and just tie a knot so it fixates. You tie and tie again, and you put it inside. And then you just come here and back it up. And now we're gonna stuff a little bit. Uh, it's looking a little bit weird because it's without the ears. If you didn't notice, but the ears, we, we're gonna put it uh, in the end. So here now we're gonna stuff the head. And let's go back to crochet. So there you have it. I'm gonna tie it up a little bit more here. It was a little bit too loose. Yeah. Now we're gonna go back to crochet. So we stop on round number 10 where we did 18. Uh, single crochets now for round for round number 11 we're gonna start by doing 17 single crochets and we're gonna start by doing uh, feet <laughs> can you call it that so let's do 17 single crochets so one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, and 17. So in the last one, we're gonna make a bubble stitch with four loops. So we have here one loop. Who is familiar with my pattern knows this kind of stitch, but who is not, I'm gonna teach her. So bubble stitch, you just, this is one loop we had already. So, we take here one loop and come here in the base stitch now yarn over pull yarn over pull through two loops now we have one loop in the bubble stitch and we're gonna repeat that uh three more times so one uh so one two three and four so we have four loops now in the bubble stitch so you see 
the one we already have, and then one, two, three, four. Now yarn over and pull through all of it. So that's the bubble stitch. And now we're going to start round number 12 with two single crochets. So we come here in the next and do one single crochet and two single crochet. I'm going to place my marker here in the first one because this is the first stitch in the in round number 12. Two single crochets. Now we're going to make another bubble stitch. So yarn over, come here in the next stitch, pull through the yarn yarn over pull through two once yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two twice yarn over come here pull through two a third time oh, that cannot happen and now four time yarn over pull through here on the same stitch Pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have four loops. One, two, three, four, and the one we already have. So now we yarn over and pull through all of them. So now uh, we did another bubble stitch for round number 12. And now we're going to finish the round with 15 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15 single crochets. So I finished this round, which was round number 12, still with 18 stitches. Now we're gonna make three rounds uh, of single crochets. So we're just gonna make round uh, number 13, 14, and 15 with 18 single crochets. No uh, increase or decrease, just three rounds with single crochets. So I'm going to pause the video and let's make it. So now that we made uh, rounds 13, 14 and 15 with 18 single crochets, I already started round 16 with 17 single crochets. So we made almost the entire round. We just leave this last stitch. So we're going to do a bubble stitch in it so we have one loop here so we yarn over and we pull through the needle yarn over again pull yarn over pull through two and we made one loop for the bubble stitch now yarn over and go through the same stitch pull through yarn over pull through two oh just two not three So now we have uh, the one we had and two loops. Now we yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Now we have three loops more uh, than we have already before. So yarn over, pull through the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. So now we have four loops and one more that we already have now, head. Now yarn over and pull through all the loops. So we finish round number 17, still with 18 stitches. So we made 17 single crochets and one bubble stitch. Now we're gonna start round number 18. So for round number 18, we're gonna make one, two, and three single crochets. And now we're gonna make, I'm gonna mark here the first one 
as the first stitch on the round. So three single crochets and now we're gonna make uh, one bobble stitch. So this one I'm gonna make a little bit more quick because I already explained it the other one more slowly. What you can do is just turn, go back in the video a little bit and make following. So I made here another bubble stitch. So we did in round 17, three single crochets, one bubble stitch. And now we're gonna finish round 17 with 14 single crochets more. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen single crochet. So we got here in our marker. Can you see it? Uh, so we finished round number 17 with 18 stitches. Now for round 18, what we're going to do is we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease. And we're going to repeat that up to the end of the round. Uh, we're going to repeat that six times. So one single crochet, pull through the marker, and one decrease. Oh, this is hot. <laughs> and one single crochet and one decrease. We're just going to repeat that six times up to the end of our round. One single crochet, one decrease. One single crochet, one decrease. Six times. So if you like this pattern, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are going to post it, please tag me so I can see it and give credits for, uh, so people to know who uh, whose patterns is it and so they can make it also. So I leave down on this description box uh, the my Instagram account. So we're finished. Uh, round number 18 with 12 stitches. Now we're gonna stuff the body and we're gonna make our two last rounds and then the ear. So we are almost done. Stuffing. There you go. Now, I'm going to make for round number 19, one single crochet and one decrease again, um, six times. So up to the end of our round, one single crochet, one decrease. I'm going to mark here. One single crochet and one decrease. One single crochet and one decrease. Up to the end of our round. So by the end of this round, that was round 19, we're going to have eight stitches. Now for the last round, that is round number 20, we're just going to make two decreases. So we're going to decrease two times, once, and twice. So now what we can do is we're going to cut this yarn we we'll lift down a little bit of a long yarn, so 
we can sew in the chain, the keychain thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this and I'm gonna hide the marker, the yarn that I was using as a marker. I'm gonna place him in there. Now we're gonna take the tapestry needle and we're gonna thread it. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, can you see the loops? That we have two loops in each stitch. We're gonna just take the, the loop in front of them and we're gonna take two at a time. So take two and pull through a yarn. Take two more and pull through a yarn. And two more and pull through. So there you have it. Now, what you're gonna do so it doesn't stick it out like this. You come through in the middle and come out here a little bit sideways and pull through. So it closes the bob. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tie a knot here. So you do is you do a loop and then you come here on the other side and pull through. And now I'm gonna come out here and now you can use this to sew in the the keychain right here. So I'm gonna pause and, and sew in and now and then we're gonna do the ears. So I place here the keychain now what we're gonna do is the ears is the last thing. So for the ears, we're gonna do a magic ring and three single crochets on it. So pretty quick and easy. So one, two, and three single crochets. Now we're gonna pull through. And we're gonna cut it here and leave down a little bit of a tail so we can tie it up on the head. So this last loop, we're gonna take the tip and pull through and pull it so it stays like that. And so you see there is like one side it's curved and another one not. So the first, uh, so we're gonna take this and come here on the first stitch can you see it? We're gonna pull through the yarn here. And now I'm gonna make a second ear and I'm gonna show how to place it on the head. So I made here my second ear. Uh, so you can notice that it's always a curved side and a more straight side. So as you see in this one, the curved side is from the back and the straight side is uh, from the front. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna count here the rounds. So, uh, we're gonna count here up to round number five. So this is the first round. One, two, three, four, five. And between uh, rounds, five and six, we're gonna place one tip. So I'm just gonna mark here by the eye. So one, two, three, four, five and six. So here and this one, we're gonna come with one. Uh, and now between rounds nine and 10, so this was five and five and six, seven, eight, nine and 10. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna come here from the back. And we're gonna come here in the stitch we mark. So now, we're gonna take, as I said, the curved side, it needs to be in the back. So, actually it's better to go all the way around. So 
we can pull stronger on the curved side. So curved side on the back, as in this one. So you pull here. Gotta be patient. You pull here, pull through it. The curved side. And now you come out with the straight side. It's gonna be this side. So what we're gonna do is gonna get real close here so you understand. So there what we did. So you pull this and now you're gonna tie a knot here. Like normal knot. And you're gonna tie pretty tightly. You see? And the second one. And now you're gonna do it in the same and now and we're gonna take the tapestry needle and hide or you can take like the the hook itself and hide the the loose ends. Just gonna do it the tapestry needle because I stuff it too much, so stuffing is coming out. <laughs> so just pull it. Now the second one. Get it. You go through it and just come out like in a random place in the body. And you just cut the ends. And we do the same thing for the other ear. You just count here the rounds. Actually, you don't actually need to count because you can see it by the other ear. So. Come out here. No, it's the other way around. You gotta pull the curved side first. So this is it. Uh, so curved side on the back, straight side on the front. So you pull through. You see, that's the curved side. And this is the straight one. So you pull like really tightly and then come with the straight side and I tie a knot once and twice now I'm gonna lose the ends and I show you uh, the finished part I'm gonna pause so it doesn't stay too long and now it's done our little tiny capybara amigurumi keychain. Look how cute it turned out. So this color is actually also pretty. Uh, capybaras have a little uh, difference in, in fur sometimes. So you can make it in both colors. They are both so cute. And this one I made it with the same hook size I did with this one, but it was a little bit of a thinner yarn, but it's still compatible with the hook. So I like to show you the possibilities of doing in the hook size you have and the yarn you have. You can make it as tiny or big as you want. So the tinier the yarn and the hook, the tinier the capybara will turn out. So this one, I love it. <laughs> it was just a little bit harder to make. You have to pay more attention to make as tiny as this one. So if you like the, the pattern, don't forget to give the thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions or anything you wanna, uh, you want me to maybe try making it, you can leave down in the comments. Also, uh, would you come in but you love capybara so much? <laughs> so I love them because they, they, they are all over my city here. I'm Brazilian, 
So in Brazil, we have a ton of capybaras. And in my town, we have around the lakes. They stay, they're pretty chill and cute animals. So see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.